Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm Alice, nice to meet you. And uh, today we're taking another step towards my yeah, journey to getting ready to move. I can now make it official on December 20th, we're moving back to the Netherlands um, for good, hopefully. So we'll be leaving the US and I am in the process of downsizing my collection because it will all have to go into our suitcases. That's all we're moving with and probably maybe one box. But first things first, I need to start paring down my collection. I have already started a project pan to finish the products that are half empty and not to bring with me products that are yeah almost done. So that is going on. You can check out that playlist on my channel. Um, the other series I'm doing for this is actually my shop, my stash and let's say daily makeup drawer series. And that is actually to rotate products in my collection to understand what I actually love, what I want to keep and what I want to bring me with me. So this other part of the preparation to move and paring down my collection is going to be declutters. I am going through my whole collection and paring it down to just the things I really love, just the things I really use, and especially not old stuff because I've brought stuff with me and some of it I haven't finished or I even haven't used in this whole year and a half that I've been here. So this is the introduction for my declutter series and together with that, with the same spirit of reducing my collection, I am also going to host another giveaway here. There's one going on now in my last project pan and you can check that one out. But this giveaway here will be specifically for new products that have been lurking in my collection that I never got to try that I just think deserve a new home. So I have here a huge box full of product. It was in a ColourPop box, but now it doesn't fit anymore. And these are all new products that um, I can't actually get to use. So there's liquid lipsticks. There's some skincare in here as well. Uh, brushes. There is uh, body shop products other skincare and just a lot of products that I have collected in the past months and I haven't gotten to try yet. So I think it is a good idea to just share the love with those of you who want to try more products. I, so I am going to run this giveaway as I do usually. There is going to be a link down below in the description box. You just enter through that link. The winner will be selected randomly from uh, those entries. And uh, as the other ones that are going on, this will be US only. So yeah, just uh, enter down below, follow the rules, the end dates and all the rules will be in that widget that you find at the link down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this decluttering series with me and let's get into it. Okay, let's start with foundations. I don't have too many and you see quite a few doubles. I have uh, two of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundations. I have shade 128 for winter and 220 for summer. I love these, I'm keeping them 100%. Then I have two of the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundations. Shade 22 fits me the best. Shade 24 I've had for a very long time. I think it's more than maybe two years and it's really too dark for me. I'm not gonna uh, use it unless I go on holidays in Italy again. And uh, I'm gonna throw this away. It's just really old. Whereas I'm keeping shade 22, it's in my project pan right now. So it, this is staying. Then I have the Ordinary Coverage Foundation and the Serum Foondation. The shades are 1.2Y and 2.0YG. So light and light medium. Um, I hate these foundations. <laughs> They're awful. Neither of them works with my skin. They sit in my pores and move away from everywhere else. I'm gonna pass them along to friends I already contacted about it. I really don't like them. The CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream has been my go-to all last winter and a good part of this year as well. I'm gonna keep it, maybe clean it a little bit. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Light was just in my favorites this month, so I'm gonna keep this one for sure. And these two 
are maybes, I'd say. I don't remember how I feel about the Garnier Skin Active. This is the BB cream for oily combination skin. I know I used to love it years ago. So at the beginning of the summer, I bought this one again. And to be honest, I haven't been using it. So I think I've used it two or three times. I'm gonna try it out again to see if I like it and if I wanna keep it or I, if I pass it along. So this is a maybe. And this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD sample um, that we got in our Sephora play box. This is in the shade Y335, which is way too dark for me. Um, I'll give it one more try and then pass it along because I don't like the formula and I don't think I like the color. Okay, no, never mind. I'm just gonna pass it along because this really won't work for me. So overall, this is what I'm keeping. These I'm passing on and this is gonna go in the trash. Not wonderful, but then again, I don't have that many foundations to start with. Let's move on to primers. As you can see, I mostly have minis. <laughs> the um, one full size that I love, this is my favorite matte face primer. This is from Kiko Matte Face Base. Unfortunately, it broke. Um, the cap here is broken and it, it actually, yeah, it's just not nice. So I am going to use as much as I can, but I think I'm gonna throw this one away. It's definitely not coming back to Europe with me. Then this is the High Adherence Silicone Primer from The Ordinary. I really haven't tried it. I think maybe once, if it's even open actually. Yeah, I opened it, but I think maybe I used it once. So I'm gonna give it another go, but yeah, I don't know. Before passing it along, I'm gonna give it another go. The Benefit Pore Professional, I have a lot of samples and I don't dislike it, but I don't use it very often. So I'm gonna toss this one, which is the oldest sample that I have, and uh, keep these two teeny tiny ones. The Glam Glow Glow Starter is among one of my favorites, basis for um, makeup. It's really, really glowy and hydrating and it smells amazing. I use it mainly in summer, but I'm gonna keep it and I guess try to finish it as well. This is a mattifying emulsion that we got in our glossy boxes a few months ago. I tried it, nothing special. I am just gonna pass it along or just, you know, get rid of it. And uh, these three are new. Um, I don't think I've ever used any of them. They're the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base, and Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I've never used them. I'm gonna try them out. They're minis. They don't take up too much space. So overall, I'm gonna get rid of three and keeping these to with the option of this one passing it along if I don't like it. I don't really use primers, that's the thing. Moving on to face mists. MAC Prep and Prime, I love it. I use it a lot uh, just to do makeup. I don't really use it on my skin, but rather uh, to uh, foil eyeshadows, but I'm keeping that one for sure. The Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist is a bit too glowy for me, so I'm going to pass this one along. Um, Urban Decay, this is the Quick Fix Hydro Charged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. It does not smell good and I think I'm gonna pass it along because I'm never gonna use it. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is halfway finished and uh, the older one, so I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep the new one. So overall, I'm keeping two, getting rid of three, but as you see, it, I'm not a big fixing mist user, <laughs> let's say. Then a category I have issues with is face powders, <laughs> clearly. So let's get the favorites out of the way. This is the MAC Blot Powder. You can see this actually lives in my purse and I've hit pan of it. This is one of my favorite powders uh, for on the go. I use it all the time. I use the shade medium dark. I love it. This is staying. Same goes with the MAC Studio Fix. Um, I like it for something that is a little bit more coverage 
Um, I'm keeping this one for sure. Then the Neve Cosmetics Hollywood Powder. I love this one and uh, I've had it for a long time and I don't think I've used even a quarter of it. I use it almost every day. I love this powder. Uh, this is staying. Then uh, the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is a 100 point perk from Sephora. I like this one for especially flawless finish even though it doesn't keep me matte too much. Um, I like this for under the eyes. I'm keeping it. Then Sephora Mineral Foundation. I used to like this and as you can see, or maybe you can't, I've almost hit pan. I can see the texture of the pan here, but it's really, really old. I haven't used this in a very long time, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, same goes with this Kiko Matte Fusion Pressed Powder. This is the wrong shade. I was um, really not very smart and I bought a shade too dark so this really darkens my base uh, so I can't use it uh, let's say under the eyes or I can use it only on the outside of my face. I'm gonna pass it along because it's a good powder it's just the wrong shade. Um, the next stay matte but not flat foundation I really like this. I made a whole video on powder foundations this summer and I compared this to the Kat Von D uh, Locket foundation, powder foundation. Um, I really like this one, I'm gonna keep it. Then this is the ELF HD Mattifying Balm. So it's not a powder, it's a balm and you are supposed to use it on top of your makeup and it mattifies. It's pretty much pure silicone. I don't like the feel of this. Um, it's new, I used it twice, I think. So I'm gonna sanitize it, clean it up, and uh, pass it along. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Translucent Powder Duo. I got this in a box, I think BoxyCharm, and just used it now in my matte versus uh, glowy highlight challenge that I'll uh, link in the cards above. Um, this is a duo with a mattifying and a glowy powder. I have nothing like this. I think I'm gonna keep it just because you never know if, yeah, you need to do, I need to do this type of videos that need a glowy uh, base. You can really see that how glowy that thing is, this side. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it to see how it, how it does and just to have a glowy powder for reference. And then this is the Pixie Quick Fix Powder in Translucid with sticker still on it. Um, this is really cool because it has a mirror which I'm trying not to blind you with and inside it has a puff and the powder is a loose powder on the bottom. This also lives in my purse because when I don't have my blot powder or when I forget my brush at least I can always use this. And I think I'm gonna keep it because I've actually been really liking it. So overall, um, not that big of a progress, I guess. I'm keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and getting rid of three of these ones. Not amazing progress, but yeah, I have a problem with powders. I have oily skin. This is what I collect. I'm always looking for something that will work better. Then another category I have issues with is concealers. I have them all in this little container. Um, I'll pull them all out for you guys. Okay, here it is. Let's get through these. First things first, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This was a present for, from some friends and it's in my current project pan so I am going to keep it because I want to finish it. This is a Melissa's Active Highlight Corrector. It's a very light coverage um, type of eye cream. It's a hybrid with, uh, with skincare. I honestly don't use it, don't see a point to it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, this is the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal and I have the shade Natural. I really don't like this concealer at all. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. And the applicator is so annoying. It's like this brush thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't like this 
I'm gonna pass it along or toss it depending if someone wants it. This is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. I have two shades here. You can probably see which one I'm loving the most. Uh, this is the shade 20, this is 30. 20 is perfect and I love it, but 30 is a bit too dark. So I'm gonna pass this along, keep 20. Maybe I'll put them here. Then, um, this is the Maybelline Master Conceal. I don't have an opinion on this. I wanted to love it. I used it a few times. Um, I don't know what to do with it because I want to use it more. But yeah. Oh, that was the issue with it. That it separates so much. You see, it kind of separated in the tube and then every time you squeeze it out, I put too much. It's definitely high coverage. Um... I'm gonna give it one more try and then toss it. I need a one more try pile. I don't know where to put it. I'll put it back here. I wanna give it one more try because it has such good coverage actually. I uh, was impressed right about now. This is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. Um, this is a very light shade as you can see compared to the others and I bought it last uh, winter for my winter paleness and uh, I'm gonna keep it and keep using it because I really liked it at the time. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. I love this concealer. This is new. I just finished up shade 20 in my project pan so this isn't gonna keep to open when I'm out of other concealers. Um, this is the Sephora Make No Mistake High Coverage Concealer. I just bought this in a recent haul and uh, I'm using it for my blemishes. I really like it. It works very well. It has high coverage and it lasts a long time. So I'm gonna keep this one for sure. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Light Medium Beige. This is the wrong shade for me. I really cannot wear it and I don't almost ever wear it. So I'm gonna pass this one along. I adore the NARS Creamy concealer. This is the travel size I bought at Sephora that I travel with and I love it. So I'm keeping this one. And this is a little Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Waterproof Concealer that I got in this month's Sephora Play Box. And I am definitely gonna keep it and try it one more time. I mean, I have just tried it once during that video and uh, never again, so I'm gonna give it another try before I make up my mind. Then my pot concealers. This is the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector uh, in the shade 03 Medium. I really like this. It's my only um, color corrector. You can see it's a nice uh, peachy tone. I'm gonna keep this one, of course. It's the only one I have like that. And these are two Kiko High Coverage Concealers. There are two different shades. This is shade 03, this is 02. And um, I thought I needed a backup of this one so because I had hit pan. So I bought this one and only swatched the color, never used it. So I'm gonna keep this one. But this is really old. As you can see, uh, I've had good use of it and now it's getting to the point that it's years and years old and I think I'm gonna just toss this one in the trash. So overall I'm getting rid of these five and keeping four, eight, ten. Again, a third, not wonderful, but it's something, I guess. So I laid out everything nicely. This is the pile of things that I am getting rid of selling, passing along, throw, just throwing away some of it. And that's what I'm keeping. Maybe a third? I think I got rid of a third. I am, uh, I guess, happy <laughs> about the, uh, the results. Um, I was hoping to get rid of more, but to be honest, it's a lot of this stuff is stuff I love. I'm still gonna give uh, this one a try to see if I wanna keep it. And yeah, this is a bit of a problem right now. Um, I'm gonna give this one a thought, I decided. I'm not sure. These two are in maybe. This is a maybe too. And this is a maybe too. And uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out with me while I decluttered my 
base products and uh, check down below the link to the block sale if you're interested in any of these products let me know and um, yeah let me know what you thought about uh, this declutter I find them very difficult to do so um, but I know that I have to pare down my collection before I move back to Europe don't forget to check on the blog and in previous videos because I have lots of giveaways going on these days. Um, there will be more associated with the declutter as well as there is one now going on in my latest project pan video. But I'll leave all the links down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe somewhere here and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye!